Hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the Sonder Investigation video. Today we're looking at protest number 38 of the current season. Uh, obviously, in the GT4 LMP3 challenge, this was at uh, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park or Motorsports. Um, bit of a multi class incident. <clears throat> There's a good battle here in the LMP3s and uh, GT4. It's pretty much in the middle of it. <laughs> We're gonna make sure we cover all the angles here, but um, seems pretty straightforward. So, um, okay. Replay cuts there. Um, there's one thing that's that I want to hear. Let me just reduce this sound and So let me explain what I what I saw, uh, and I think that's what's uh, unsettled the LMP3 on the outside. So corner here is uh, is a very long corner. Uh, it's a we don't see it much in the sim, but it's banked, and you really have to wait before getting up to the power, and then you could you should do so progressively, um, and I would believe. Especially in this, um, in, in this uh, Mercedes, <coughs> um, the push is not not so true because there's a weight on, there's a, a good amount of weight in the back. Um, so my first assumptions were that uh, this GT4 wasn't predictable. So normally you would see, well, the racing line is bringing it up all all the way to to the up the outside but the car seems to go left and right but it's just due to the traction you can see that you have the driver has to do correction so it's not a matter of being predictable or not just a uh, bit of uh, lost control and uh, impeding a little bit the gt f the lmp3 at the back but um i mean i don't i don't think much of it he didn't know which where to go because the car was sliding a little bit lost the position in there uh, but uh, again in my opinion this is uh, this is racing multi-class racing um, let's see for them the cockpit with uh, the LMP3 saw Pretty much it. So I'll send this to the stewards. I don't think much of it. There's not much uh, to see, but again, uh, we'll double check with the team. Have a nice day.